So welcome. I have the pleasure to start this today's session by introducing you to our projects uh, of large-scale electrolyzer plants, specifically in uh, France. The, the company I'm working for is called H2V. It's a company which was created uh, roughly three years ago. And the objective is clearly to uh, upscale electrolyzer plants, and we set the target to start with 100 megawatt plants. As such, obviously, we are considered as a startup because we were created three years ago. We are 14 people now. However, uh, we are backed up by a private-owned uh, investment company, which is already active in uh, many, many areas, including uh, solar farms and, and wind farms, so already active in the energy. And this company is our mother company, and they are currently financing the, the whole project. We have two active projects. When I say active, it means the permitting file will be submitted in the very near future. The first one is in Dunkerque, which is in the north of France. Now, if you look at this picture on the right side, there is the Gasco terminal and the GRT terminal, which means that this is where the gas coming from Norway is imported into France. And in this pipe, you have roughly 50% of the natural gas that is imported to France that goes through that single place. And our land, which we have secured, is just next to it. We have the, the plan to start the permitting process for 200 megawatts units. Ultimately, it will be five by adding 100 megawatt every year. So this project is clearly a power to gas project. The intention is to inject all the hydrogen in the natural gas network up to a certain percentage, which still remains to be determined by the French authorities. The second one is in Normandy, which is a little bit further south in France. Again, same concept, ultimately 400 megawatt, adding 100 megawatt every year. And on this picture on the right side, you see the Exxon refinery, which is the biggest refinery in France. If you go a little bit further west, which you cannot see on that picture, you have the second largest refinery in France, which is Total. And you have some other big consumers of hydrogen. The good thing is, if you look at our land, on the south of the land, there are already existing two hydrogen pipes. So hydrogen could go one way or the other, but at the end of the day, this is a typically uh, power to industry. So the intention is to inject hydrogen directly, supply hydrogen to massive hydrogen users already today. So switching from uh, gray to green hydrogen. Our job is basically to work as, a, as an EPC or a contract manager. So basically, we are not producing any equipment we buy every single piece of equipment, but we manage the whole project and we finance it in order to deliver turnkey factories. And we can also operate them if, uh, if needed. So we take care of everything that on, that's on that uh, picture. This is the, the result of the first uh, survey we did when we initiated the project three years ago. We were looking at uh, Everything which was published by all the various manufacturers, they all had a 100 megawatt concept, which was published on the internet, we had discussions. And we specifically looked at the scope of each of them, and we discovered that uh, the scope of supply is uh, varying from one supplier to another, but none of them actually allows you to produce hydrogen. So we take care of the full chain from connecting to the net, the electrical network, we're talking about 220 kV network to delivering the hydrogen at a certain pressure to the customer. And everything in between, including permitting, we take care of it by assembling the various blocks in a certain manner. When we did this um, study, we were obviously looking for what I call a turnkey process. So the least we were expecting from the electrolyzer manufacturers is to take care of the process. And since we couldn't get it, we have written our own request for quotation. We've sent it out to 12 manufacturers worldwide. Four have declined for various reasons, but we got eight offers for complete turnkey system, which means everything that was in, in the blue and orange on the previous slide. And then we went through a deeper investigation. 
to finally select what we called four preferred partners with whom we had really in-depth discussions. We visited some installations and we went very deep into the, um, the analysis. We've evaluated each file, each offering based on 78 uh, KPIs, technical KPIs, power consumption, lifetime, uh, footprint, but also commercial issues. Not only, not only price and more soft issues like quality of the offer and uh, detail of description. At the end of the day, this is the result, by the way, of the first evaluation. So I'm not going to tell you who it is and don't try from the scale to find out what the differences are. It's not from zero to 100. It's purposely done that way. But what you can see is there are clear differences from one supplier to another. Uh, unfortunately, no one was 100% everywhere, so we had to select a compromise on globally the best, uh, best offering. When we brought it down to the, the full preferred one, the picture is a little bit closer, but still major differences in terms of uh, compliance to our request for quotation, and uh, specifically in terms of uh, warranty. At the end of the day, we have selected to award, we have decided to award both projects to the same partner, which we'll present in a, in a, in a few minutes, because overall, looking at all the parameters, to us it appeared to be the best, and uh, this has been one year now, and uh, we're not disappointed. So we are very happy about that selection. Where are we at the moment? In the project, the land has been secured a long time ago because no land means no project. That's a very important point. You need electricity, you need water. And in our business model, you need a huge consumer, not too far. So you need an either a gas pipe, a hydrogen pipe, or a big consumer, not too far. It is not intended to be stored. It is not intended to be transported. So we directly delivered to the customer. So the, the land is very important that has been secured. We have obviously then finished now all the environmental studies which are required by the French government that has been completed last year in October. No major issues there. We have finished what I call the basic engineering. So every detail which was needed for the permitting file has been submitted. And we now continue with the detailed engineering for finalizing the, the plant. In a couple of months' time, we will officially submit the permitting file. Then we have one year till the French authorities give us or not the approval to proceed. Then we build the factory, the civil work, and one year later we install the equipment. The target is the first 100 megawatt. We want them operational by end of 222. Very optimistic, maybe early 223, and then we add 100 megawatts every, every year. This is our latest, not, not the very latest, but this is our latest layout. So as I say, most of the engineering is done, the layout is done. Uh, we modified a little bit the compressor and the cooling section, but uh, this is how it looks like for 100 megawatt. And uh, this is uh, what the factory looks like. We work with a dedicated architect as well, because the company wants to have some uh, visual identity on our projects. So the, factory seems a little bit lux luxurious. There is no luxury. There, every single thing here has, has a purpose. And this is an overall view, including the exploded model. I think that's all for my part, so I hand over to Hans Jörg. Good morning. Hans Jörg Fell is my name. I'm the CTO with Hydrogen Pro. Hydrogen Pro is a company with headquarters in Norway and uh, um, offices in France. And what we do is we offer turnkey hydrogen plants with our experienced team. And we work with selected sub-suppliers from Germany, Belgium and China. And we are extremely proud to have been selected as supplier for these two large projects in northern France. It has been a real pleasure to work with H2V and it's, it's an ambitious project. So, so we have uh, we are fast tracking here and uh, do our best to, to uh, fulfill the expectations. The core of our plants 
is supplied by our partner and co-exhibitor THE. As you see it here, the cell stack and the gas separator skits. This is technology which has been improved in the course of many decades. THE has an estimated market share of 20% in terms of new installed capacity worldwide. And they have managed to improve their systems over the years. So we have a very robust and safe solution. What does it take to supply a large-scale hydrogen plant? I would like to highlight five points. First of all, it's the low capex, which is certainly an important issue. So here are several factors coming into play. First of all, it's a pressurized plant. This allows you to have a very compact installation. And furthermore, it's a modular system. So we can replicate the single electrolyzer trains to form a large 100 megawatt factory. Then the second, it's of course the operational costs. Yes, H2E has to have a good communication with the electricity supplier. And then on the other side, the energy efficiency of the units is really important. And there we are uh, at a very, very competitive level. The plants can be run fully automated. This is of course essential when operating such a large plant. Then the system must be reliable. So here, in an electrolyzer installation, you have very few moving parts, and the plant is designed to work 24-7 throughout the year. And with this pressurized system, we have a great flexibility in operating the plant. So we can ramp up and down, and this is very attractive for renewable energy input. But last but not least, it's the system is well proven. With over 400 units delivered throughout the years, the safety aspect is very important. So this has been refined, and the team knows how to design large-scale plants. So for us, it has been a tremendous year. We have had a very good communication with H2V, and it's a real pleasure to work with uh, you guys, and uh, I would like to thank you for your attention. If there's any questions, come and visit us at our booth. Thank you very much, Dr. hans jörg Fell and Jean-Marc Leonard. <coughs> Are there any questions from the audience? Right now? Okay. So I think this is a very impressive joint project from the two companies. Can you maybe talk a little bit um, about the public funding? Because we, have, we had different projects here on stage. Uh, that were funded by European federations and whatsoever. It's How about this project? It's, <coughs> it's not our business model, so for the moment we decided not to apply for any, any funding. So the, the, the main investor the, uh, is taking care of that till the development part, which is about 15 million. Then when we build the plants, we will have to raise money from somewhere, but being an investment company, they will find ways, it's, it's their job. So we're not asking for funding uh, of the equipment. Uh, to be honest, we are still trying to discuss with the government to get, because we think funding the investment is counterproductive. The amount of money you have to put on the table will not drive you to use your asset as much as you can. Whereas our business model is to run 7,500 hours a year. So we need to sweat the asset given the amount of investment. So not only run 2,000 hours per year, that, that has no return. That you can do if you get funding, so you don't care. But this is not driving massive hydrogen. But we are trying to, to get some kind of compensation on the price of hydrogen. It's still ongoing, so as I'm talking to you, it's not secured yet. We are still more expensive than the grey hydrogen, uh, both in the north and in Normandy. I think in Normandy, for the industry, we are close enough to take the challenge that uh, if Within the time frame of the project, the natural gas, I don't know what it will be in two years, but I just don't see it decrease. The CO2 tax in France will increase, and the new regulations on fuels, which was just issued yesterday, could be good news for us. So we are relatively close to be competitive with uh, grey or blue hydrogen. Uh, in the north, we are competing with natural gas, which is at 25 euros. Our hydrogen is a little bit more expensive. so there. We're still discussing to get some compensation, but not on the investment. 
Thank you very much. I wish you best of luck with this huge and promising project. If you have further questions, please go to their booth, either E46 for Hydrogen Pro or B70 for H2B. Thank, Thank you. you very much again. Thank you.